Hi everyone, welcome back to another 360 with me, SG Alien, aka Chris Armstrong. And today, a very inspiring uh, young woman, I think we can say that, she looks very young. Anyway, the point being is, uh, Chrissy here, currently a school teacher, if I'm right. Well, kind of, I'm a lecturer in Glasgow School of Art, and we're actually having our last cohort. Uh, yeah. My heart is gutted, but at the same time, all good things must come to an end. So now you're moving into being an entrepreneur, which is very, in my opinion, in my seven years here in Singapore, is not very Singaporean. And what I mean by that, for anyone gets mad, is um, risk is very, you know, Singaporeans are very risk adverse. Yes. So you're a little more conservative. Jumping into it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I can safely say that um, I've always felt like an entrepreneur. Okay. In fact, um, I'm kind of a serial entrepreneur to some respect. Um, done a couple of things. Some things should have been, you know, stayed in the bottom of the bar, <laughs> and you know, stayed just ideas. But you know, other things have actually moved on to quite impressive, um, you know, stories. Yeah. Um, I think that will be for another day because today, what I want to talk about is um, co-curator. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> co-curator. Okay. So this co-curator is and beer. Right. So, so basically. Um, you see, the thing about entrepreneurship, right, is we're just trying to create something to fix something, right? Okay. You don't try to build a new brand or a new business when nothing's broke. Yeah. And to me, the catalyst for all this was when, well, COVID-19 actually just hit us really hard last year, and my graduating batch of 2020 were not going to be able to show. Okay. Yeah, the, the degree show, you know, a nice exhibition that we usually round off the year with a big celebration. And one of the things that I thought was, you know, um, it, it was just going to be a shame was that we weren't going to celebrate and we weren't going to have a space that we could actually show that work. So, so what I thought... you at the school yes. not being able to celebrate with your students their arts. Yes. That's what you're saying. Okay. That's right. Just clarifying. Just clarifying that we didn't have a degree show for last year and uh, it gutted me. Okay. Um, and, it, and it gutted my students as well, the graduating yeah. batch. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put together something, anything, that would be able to help put on that works onto an online platform. Okay. And um, not just for my students, but to help all, you know, design, media, or the arts, students, practitioners, anybody, to find a place to be able to to show off their works, Sorry, showcase their work, yep. as well as um, get jobs, really, okay. find jobs. Because let's face it, the freelance market for designers is not exactly um, doing very well, especially now when we even have this term called COVID discount. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Yeah, I've heard of it. And um, when you call yourself a freelancer, it's just an open invitation to be lowball. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. So we're coining it new. We're calling it creative entrepreneur. Okay. Or creative printer for short. And I think this is a perfect time for me to just announce to everybody that we're rebranding co curator yep. to co creates. Because we don't want to be curating anybody. We want everybody to feel that they're part of creating something. So it's bringing everybody together and enabling people far enough to instead of fighting to try and get to that CEO or that marketer or something, you can just contact each other and do business. That's if right. If there is business there to do. Yes. Is that the long and the short of it? Kind of. That's pretty much okay. it. So we're going to find a place where you can showcase your work, put work in progress stuff up and be proud of it yep. so it's not going to be looking like it needs to be finished, polished stuff and um, find jobs with clients or yep. create jobs for, for good, for impact. That and that's just awesome. the short right. of it. Cheers. I finished playing uh, bartender. I'm going to come back around. I think you did a very good job. And you polishing off that shot glass over there? <laughs> Where's my Jägermeister though? <laughs> I can't make those. <laughs> so, uh, so what's, what's happening now? So you do quite a few other projects as well. Yes. So the whole thing, people, is from teacher to entrepreneur, and then of course mar uh, breaking out into lots of different markets. Um, and for clarity, uh, or what is the word? Blur. <laughs> we 
kind of know each other. We've been doing some work together, and this is why I'm being a bit more playful than uh, usual. Blur is a good technical term for it. Blur is a very good technical yes. term. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't, your brain doesn't work. We're not <laughs> editing. So, um, so we spent a bit of time. We've done a couple of interesting things. And it's, it's good to be able to push out all these wonderful things that you're doing. Yes, thank so you very much. So what else, other than co-creator, can you tell us? Co-create. You've got Get 10 it right. seconds. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm also um, part of this uh, co-op. It's uh, more like an alliance. It's called Cassia BC, which is Cassia Business Chamber. Okay. And we basically help businesses scale and give them resources and help them move out into Central Asia and Southeast Asia, so 60 countries. you basically, if someone's a business, come in and you help them figure out how to put all of their, their, their ducks in a row and grow. And, and grow people. and scale and yeah. make it transferable to 16 countries okay. and be culturally sensitive while we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. So basically understanding each culture and making sure that it can flow more fluidly yes. rather than having some of those cultural misunderstandings like for example the old uh, stereotypes, you go to Japan, you eat food and then you refuse a second helping and then they're insulted. So it's, I know, I know. Obviously, that is not the point, but it's kind of a good example for this understanding. That's you know. terrible, Chris. You've done that before. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Um, so yeah. Um, no, um, it it basically is that. But um, and you're doing all of this, and you're a full time mum as well. Is that right? We don't have to get into that because that's personal. But how yes. do you do it? Um. Um, I don't know. You just don't sleep, basically. Sleep is for losers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I take that back. Um, I do. Uh, I have two wonderful toddlers, and I try to spend as much time as, as I can with them. Okay. And um, I don't know. I, I guess life just has to balance itself out. Yeah. But when you have passion and, um, you know, something to work towards. Yeah. I just figured the main reason why I'm doing all of this is for them anyway. And it will show them, you know, what can be done. Yeah. Instead of the institutional exactly. doctor, lawyer, banker, no. lots of money. You can still make money and have fun. Exactly. Have flexibility. I mean, no doubt I actually still teach in a university, but only for six more months. Um, I actually don't think that my kids need to go, you know, pursue that that kind of education in the future if they didn't want to. So showing other options. With showing success. up what? <laughs> so showing more options to them. Yes. And success can still follow. Exactly. I mean, the, the one thing that society is feeling today, and I can attest to that with all my students as well, is they feel this fear, right, that they're working from scarcity, that they have to scrape the bottom of the barrel for the next job. Yeah. Right. I mean, the fear because economy is just stopped. Yeah. You know, for the first time in history, the big machine stopped. Yeah. And I think this is wonderful in a sense. I mean, it, it, it rocks the boat. So long we were just complaining about, you know, what could we do? What could one person do? And right now, the whole world just stopped and it paused long enough for us to go like, I didn't like a couple of things about the way things were last yeah. time. And I believe that we have the opportunity to not adopt, but adapt into a new future. Yeah. I think this is actually something that is kind of a gift. I know it sounds pretty morbid. So it's kind of forcing innovation. Forcing innovation and finding a way to redesign with knowing our priorities in mind yeah. moving forward. And that's huge. I mean, it's kind of a gift, but at the same time, I wish we didn't have the pandemic. We didn't need to wake up with a pandemic for that. But it is what it is. And if there's one thing that I know for sure, yeah. we're really adaptable and we are survivors. But it's not just about surviving, is it? It's about thriving. It's, it's about, about thriving. Future and vision, yeah. It's about enjoying. And society today feels so claustrophobic because we've been isolated. I mean, we've been forced to stay at home. We've been forced to work in silos. And that's part of the problem. We're feeling like we have no more options. And what happens to people that feel they have no more options? 
not very much. And yeah. then they, they lose their minds, you know, they, they break down. So what we want to do is we want to give them more options. I mean, it's 2021. We have technology on our side. Never before do we have more opportunity. It's just bridging the gap to bring this opportunity to people in their homes. And giving them the ability to actually see the opportunities from yes. a different perspective. From a totally yeah. different perspective. So yeah. more options, more choice. Yeah. Look, thank you very much. I really appreciate us, you know, A, catching up, B, having a bit of fun and, and addressing a lot of these things on top of, you know, um, Singaporean of, yeah. teacher, inspirer. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Thank so, you. guys, after this, look down the description. As soon as the websites, the apps, social media, everything is updated, we'll post it there. And you can always reach out and say hi. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Please do contact us anytime. 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll probably still be working then. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers Chris. To you too. Namesake.